Hello and welcome to this training video on how we can change the properties, the options, and how we can print document from Automation Studio. So basically, if we go into the View tab, we have Document Properties and Project Properties. Let's click by Document Properties. In this tab, you will have the possibility of changing the appearance on your drawing and also the drawing scale. For example, sometimes customers are starting by creating the schematic and then they realize down the road that they will need more space on their diagram. Two options, either you change your page setup to have a bigger page or you simply edit the drawing scale here to, for example, 50% where all your components will take 50% of the size that they were and if you drag new component from the library they will automatically adjust to the scale of your drawing. Here on top, we have the standards in Automation Studio. So each standard can be modified in view. If you position your mouse on page setup, for example, you will see here what you can change in that, in that standard. So page size, portrait, landscape, margins. If you go to map locator, you can obviously create your own map locator or take some that we already have the fluid section where you can change the way you want the jumps over the lines, the colors in hydraulic where you can change all the colors as well in your different pressure or flow in your simulation. Pneumatic, same thing as hydraulic. Electrical where you can also change the color during simulation or also the color of your items. Digital electronic, same thing. Ladder diagram, we can also change the colors, but here we can also change to display the addresses instead of the ID of Automation Studio. We have the references where we can change the way it looks, either a circle, square, the font that we use, the size of the font too. And the drawing tool, we can set by default to have a thicker line, a filling by default, all these things in all these standards. For example, right now I have a landscape page format. If I click on this icon, open and modify, I will see here where I can change the different page format. I can enter a customized size for my sheets. Margins, top margins, printer margin. And I can change here to portrait. And when I do that, I apply. It's asking me if I want to change the standard here. I say yes. And now if I go back to my drawing, I now have a portrait page. If you go now into the project properties window, in the project properties, you can change the naming rules, different standards as well. For example, you want to define that you will use imperial or metric unit. You can change the default here hyperlinks color so there's a lot of things that you can change in this window if we go to properties here you can change again different option more towards the project itself for example a cycle of simulation is 10 millisecond you can change that to 0 0.1 millisecond which is much more precise but keep in mind that if you do that you'll need a stronger computer to be able to analyze all the information that we will gather in the simulation. We have in simulation, we have regular simulation, step-by-step -step and, and uh, slow motion. Here you can actually change the factor of your slow motion. We have display faulty component. This is a feature where, for example, if you specified into a pneumatic cylinder, for example, that it has a capability of 200 PSI maximum. Well, if you set that amount in the cylinder and during your simulation, your pressure increased to 300 PSI for any reason, you will have an icon identifying that this component is presently faulty. You may also want to change the minimum flow that it needs to show in simulation the flow circulating into the system. For example, sometimes people do not want to show the dashed line explaining where the flow goes 
unless you have at least a certain amount of flow, and this is where you can set it up. Perfect line will not simulate any pressure loss throughout the lines. We can activate thermal stimulation, cavitation, and we all can also here enter the document information, company, drawn by, approved by, all these type of field, which will automatically be inserted into the title block on your schematic. And obviously we have the history and translation capabilities. Another option, if you go to the icon here, you go to Automation Studio Options. This is for the software itself, where you can change your language. If you want to go, example, uh, to Spanish, you go to Spaniel, and then once you close the software and relaunch it, you will see that the interface will be changed to that specified language. All your location of files for templates, libraries, you can specify where you want to look for them. And here we can also define the autosave delay, software update, when you want the software to look if there's an update available. So all these information can also be changed in this window. One more thing, if you go to Fluid, we have Fluid and Line Manager. Here you can specify in the software the type of oil that you're using with your simulation. This is important because all these fluid have pre-entered information which will be taken in consideration during the simulation. So during the simulation you will see the pressure loss, temperature according to the specs of that specific fluid. We have the material where we can define the internal roughness. Therefore we can define some line types and specific hydraulic lines also. Now if we want to print a diagram. So let's open a circuit and see the printing option. And let's take, for example, electro-pneumatic circuit. So here's my circuit, which obviously you can start the simulation right away and visualize the circuit in animation. Now let's print that schematic. Let's stop simulation. I'll do here, print. And then when you go print, it was going to ask you which diagram you want to print. Because keep in mind, we, have, we can have up to 10 diagrams per project. So you can click Schema R, Drawing 1. And then here you can set the page, landscape, fit the page, the regular properties. We also have the capability of doing a print preview. Print preview of the Drawing 1. And then I'm going to say OK. And here's my print preview. And what we can also do is we can also export the drawing to a different format. For example, DXF, EMF, PDF, and TIFF to have more option to actually share our documents. Thank you for your time. And I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.